Are we on? We are. All right, we're live streaming and welcome to OBA Athletics and Lady Trojan Basketball District Championships tonight. You got the gu you got Coach Cheatham with Wyatt the Sheriff Hoven, AC and Kara on the camera. We're fired up and excited to be here with you tonight. How are you fired up there? I am. Sheriff. I am. So it is the district championship. District championship. Both teams in it. You have your Lady Trojans. And then you also have your Trojans after winning last night in the elimination game. They win in the elimination game yep. to advance to today. Yep. So we are excited that both games tonight yeah. are fired up, ready to go. I'm yes? excited. I'm excited. I'm ready. We'll have the prayer and then the national anthem. Amen. Now, And there you go, folks, National Anthem. Now we will get the starting lineups for both teams. Number zero for Cherokee Chiefs. Number 10. Number 12, number 20, and number 21. And then for your Lady Trojans. I don't see any changes from I all year, do you? I do not. Number three, Lillian Walden. Number 12, Clara Caldwell. 
number 15, BB Colby. Number 20, Conley Chaot. And that's the normal lineup. Yes, it this is. I think uh, game two. Yeah. Right? So, your Lady Trojans get the bye in the first round. They are 19-2, and two, reigned 13th in the state here in the district championship game against Cherokee Lady Chiefs, who won yesterday and in the elimination game, and they're here tonight. So here we go. I'm going to set down early here because uh, it's going to be a fire. We're going to be fired up all night. Yep. Thanks for watching OBA Trojan Athletics and Lady Trojan Basketball. It's a district championship night on the campus of Oklahoma Bible Academy. Ba playoff basketball brought to you by Jansen GMC. Jansen GMC Enid making playoff basketball happen on the live stream. And there's the tip. And easy win on the tip. Quick pass over. BB thinks about it. No drive. Looks like the Chiefs are going to be in a zone to start. A little 2-3, two, 2-1-2 two, two zone. Lady Trojans taking their time. And here we go with championship basketball. Inside to Titus. Titus turnaround jumper with two on her. Great job there. Here we go rolling. We give a shout out to Mr. Hopin, who's watching and listening tonight on the big screen. Thanks for helping make live stream happen all year with managing and coordinating the students. The Sheriff AC Kara LeGov, our students that make live stream happen. Thank them very much. Mr. Hopin, our all things IT guru as the Lady Trojans are in their man-to-man -man, as always and playing a tough man-to-man. -man. Lady Chiefs are being patient. They are. Lady Trojans up two to nothing. Ball's knocked away. That's going to be now a tie ball, but that's going to stay with the Lady Chiefs because of us winning the tip. Great job there by the Lady Trojans defense not having any or not giving them any opportunity to uh, have a shot there. Thanks for watching and listening. And if you are tonight, be sure to let us know. On, send us a text, email, or all things social media. As there's a, no, nope, thought she was going to shoot it. There's a three by 21. Left-handed shooter off the rim. Rebound Titus. Titus over to Conley. Conley's going to push it up the court and then slow it back up. Inside to Caldwell, nice pass Caldwell to Titus in the lane, short four foot jumper, good, four nothing. Lady Trojans up 6.02 here in the first period. Two minutes into this ball game, Lady Trojans up four. Again, let us know you're watching or listening, all things at, uh, OBA Athletics, at OBA Athletics on Twitter and Instagram. Oklahoma Bible Academy on Facebook. Let us know. There's a short jumper by 10. Way off, but rebound. Cherokee back up. Nice up. Nice head fake and up and under by number 12. Hensley makes it 4-2. to two. Lady Trojans up 2. We break the press pretty easy. As it's rocking in here tonight, folks. And there's a 3 by B.B. Colby. like to see us work the ball in a little bit more there early yeah uh, maybe a travel no don't get that call and they're gonna set it back up four to two five oh two here in the first period oh that's a double dribble no again rocking house tonight here on the campus of Oklahoma Bible Academy got a full crowd on the home side Cherokee traveled really well just a few seats left as the boys game will be Woodland Cougars versus the OBA Trojans. There's a drive to the lane, miss. Rebound Conley, kicks it up to BB, running the court and finish, yes! There's two, makes it six to two, 430. Lady Trojans playing tough D early and like always, that's one of the staples for this ball club with their length yep. and athletic ability. Um, she's got it. <laughs> it's 
student section is fired up. They are. Oh, no. Got over the top too much right there. End up being an easy basket. Makes it 6-4. And the Lady Chiefs are going to stay in a 1-2-1-1 full court pressure. Hasn't shown us any issues yet. But they're going to stay in it. It's still early, I guess. They may not be trying to get a steal out of the deal. Just slow up the offense. Help take some time. Oh! Conley in the corner. Titus was underneath wide open. We missed it. Go help, girls. Go help. And Caldwell will take the wide open three. That's off. Rebound. Titus right back up. Gets hammered. Great job there, by. She'll go to the line to shoot, too. She's yeah. senior. Leah Titus is fired up tonight. She's got four of the six already and gets fouled there. She'll go to the line to shoot, two at the two at the 328 mark of the first period. You're watching Lady Trojans basketball on ovatrojans.tv and at the Sportal app. Thanks for watching. She misses the first. Also, thanks for watching because it's being brought to you by Jansen GMC. Jansen GMC making live stream playoff basketball happen because it costs even an extra fee to broadcast OSSAA playoffs. And she makes the second, makes it 7-4. to four. So Lady Trojans up 7-4, 3-15 here in the first period as you got district championship basketball being played right here. Enid, Oklahoma. West Chestnut on the campus of Oklahoma Bible Academy. There's a shot, playing good, D, missed, and where's the ball? Stays here, it looks like. Stays yep. there. Looked like B.B. Colby got her hand there trying to so, save it, but not very many fouls here early. One team foul for Cherokee, zero for the Lady Trojans. Cherokee being really patient. Oh, tripped her. Didn't mean to. I think we tried to get out of the way and ended up tripping her anyway. Yeah. Run that back in slow-mo. She might have tripped herself, but we're going to get the foul call, and rightly so there. She'll go to the line number zero. Abby Guffey. She'll go to the line to shoot two. 7-4, 244 makes the first. Makes it 7-5. You're watching Lady Trojan Basketball District Championship game on ovatrojans.tv, and she makes the second. You got the Sheriff wide open, and Coach Cheatham here with you, bringing it to you. AC and Kara on. Ah, don't dribble. AC and Kara on the cameras. There's a mishandle, and they push it up strong. Seven to six, Lady Trojans up one, 2.15 to go here in the first period. Got a heck of a ball game going on, folks. Be sure to let your friends know, let us know you're watching and listening to OVA Trojans Athletics. Twitter and Instagram, all things OBA Athletics, at OBA Athletics. Blocked by Caldwell. Deep three, off, and rebound Titus. Titus over to Lillian Walden. Lillian Walden's going to bring it up. Over in the corner to Conley, and that's off. Good look for a three. Yep. Actually a little deeper. I thought she could have took a step up. Uh, missed. Got to get her, Lillian, hot here from the three-point line. We're at under 130 here in the first period. Fast-paced quarter. Lady Trojans basketball district championship game after a heck of a season. Block Walden and then save Walden. Nice job. Throw it down there. Come on. Finish. Let's and go. And money. Oh, oh, man, we missed the layup. Cannot do it. Great save by Walden yep. over to Titus. Titus throws the court down to Caldwell. We don't convert. Bounce back, though, here, playing good D. 7-6, 50 seconds. 
I'm assuming they're going to play for the last shot here. Little jumper, miss, rebound Conley. Conley's going to run the court. Push it up. We got two on two. Now we have two on three. And she decides to slide back out. Not a bad decision right there. We'll set it up. Cherokee stays in there man to man. Titus thinks about the three. Nice pass. Little short jumper called well. There we go. Ten foot jumper in the lane. Great ball movement by the Lady Trojans. Yeah. Nine six. Seventeen seconds to go here, and I would guarantee a last shot now on this time, this possession. Nine six. Under ten. Eight. Five. Driving the lane. Good help. Block Titus. Two. One, get rid of it, and got a, and no joy right there on the last second half court shot, but that's all right. Your Lady Trojans are up 9-6 to six at the end of the first. Heck of a fa fast-paced first period, isn't that, don't you think, Sheriff? I do. Uh, definitely a low-scoring game right now. Uh, normally with, these, uh, with the Lady Trojans that were normally up in double digits by the – uh, at the end of the first quarter, but definitely faster paced and both teams are playing really good on defense and uh, we got a ball game. For sure, as the cheerleaders get the crowd fired up, we'll recognize them. Savannah Schultz, Carly Fournier, Carissa Barney, senior, Emil, or Emily Pendleton, Mariah Yuseta, coached by Coach Samantha Cheatham. Great job, ladies, and of course, Oba, and Oba is Judah Reese. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. So, Great job right there. Your Lady Trojans up 9-6. The student section is going, getting fired up. We got a good crowd tonight. Almost packed here. There's a few more seats left, folks. You want to come on down, catch the second half or the uh, and or the boys game. We're getting ready to throw it inbound here. Lady Trojans balls. We've had a couple of subs. No subs in the first period. And you have... Uh, Jenkins and Jenkins, Carson and Cammie have checked in the game for Titus and Walden. Titus is our leading scorer. She has six of the nine, or five of the nine, and at least three rebounds, and she's been a rebounding machine here in the late run of the season. Lady Trojans taking their time, trying to work the ball into this 2-1-2 zone that the Lady Chiefs are pushing out. 9-6. Whoa, a little hot right there. Almost lost it. One minute into this second period. No score change, 9-6. With both teams with one team foul. Good ball movement there. Conley with a deep three off. She's 0 for 2 from there. I don't think we've hit a three all night. We've we shot quite a bit. We have not. I think we've shot we've shot three. We're 0 for 3. Six thirty. Uh-oh. 21 beats so good. Got to have help. Got to have help. Makes it eight. Nine, eight. Lady Trojans up one. Lady Chiefs giving. So, subs back in. Walden and Titus come back into the game for Coldwell and Colby at the 619 mark of the second period. Lady Trojans moving around. Lillian drives baseline, passes it back inside to Jenkins.
And Carson Jenkins will go to the line to shoot two, and she makes the first. That's three team fouls on Cherokee, one on OBA here at the 6.01 mark of the second period, and Jenkins misses the second. And that's a silly foul right there. She's getting blocked out. No need to reach over Yeah, there because she's definitely getting blocked out. So she draws a cheap one, her first team second. Lady Trojans up 10 to 8. Biggest lead actually of the night so far with four. Been a close ball game all night. Twenty-one likes to take it to the rim, gets a good look, but misses. Get a foul, get a push right there on Carson Jenkins again. She quickly draws two with a push. And that's a take it to the rim right there. Nice by Abby Guppy, number zero. Makes it 10 to 10. Ten ten, tied ball game here. Be a foul on the Lady Chiefs there. So we're gonna have two more subs back in uh, rotation here as Caldwell and BB Colby comes in the game for Conley and uh, Cammy Jenkins. So that's four team fouls, and they got a late sub there for Cherokee. Now we inbound the ball. 10-10, folks. Tight ball game here. District championships the way it ought to be. It's playoff basketball. Yeah. Playoff basketball right here on the campus of Oklahoma Bible Academy. Lady Trojans having a heck of a year, but all that doesn't matter now because we're in the playoffs. District championship, both of these teams will advance to regionals as Caldwell takes a three, contested, misses, rebound, Cherokee, and they push it up the court, and oh, we're gonna get a charge called? Oh, that's a block. That was close, but we got, they got the, got the block called on us on Caldwell. I'll put them to the line to shoot two. And that's her first team four. Both teams with fours. 21 misses. And she'll make the second. Puts Cherokee up. 11. And the Walden drives, misses the layup, but Titus is right there for the stick back. Makes it 12-11, Lady Trojans, as Conley Chaot goes to the board table to check back in. Again, heck of a ball game here, folks. The Lady Trojans still playing their man-to-man. -man. And nice move by 21. Inbound makes it 13-12, and Cherokee staying in their zone pressure. Again, have not gotten any steals off this all night, but till then. We'll count that as a turnover, and they're going to help us by throwing it back away. So it ended up not hurting as we get it back. Yeah. Lady Trojans passing along the arc there, trying to find something. So 
There's a three by Gonley off. Man, we got to get her hot. 0 for 3. There's a short jumper by Conley. Good. I like to see that. 14-13. You miss a three. Drive it to the lane. Try to get a foul. Take a short jumper. Get the feel back. There's a steal. Oh, nope. Thought she had it. So there's a quick foul on 25 of the scrum for the ball for a hold. It's going to make team five for them, four for us. Officials keeping it pretty even here in this district championship game. Walden uh, tries to pass it inside, gets knocked away. No good, turnover. We had two turnovers last two times down the court. <laughs> 21 gets a technical. Looked like she got angry that she got the yep. charge called got on her. Got frustrated, spiked the ball. It's gonna be her first though. She looks, and I believe she was just frustrated. Yeah. But you can't do that. So out of the technical, Conley, Conley uh, Chaot will go to the line to shoot. Two and misses the first. On, and misses on both. So we could not take advantage of the technical. And at this point, at the 232 mark, up one and all the shots and turnovers we've missed, I would say, as a coach, our youth is starting to show, folks. Yep. What I mean by that is we got two seniors on the court and then three sophomores. This is a big game. So there's going to be bigger to come, so we better rise to the occasion. And there's a quick shot by Caldwell. 12-foot jumper, good. Nice pass by... Conley. Oh, no call right there. Coach is going crazy. She's upset there was a no call. So she calls a 30 second timeout as she wanted a foul. She wanted double fouls by, uh, I know what she's wanting. It was rough on the steal yeah. by Conley. I like them letting them play right there. However, the girl tries to jaw the charge. It's a hard person yeah. on the floor. I, I say, hey, you got to make a call whether you're going to call trap, whether you're going to call charge or block. Yeah, I so, agree with that. You know, I think the official helps themselves by making a call right there. We are in the bonus, folks. They do have 17 fouls to R4, 18 to three, as the Lady Trojans are now paying full court pressure. 150, under two minutes, 18, 13. Sorry, I got a bad angle on the scoreboard. Got to move over here a little bit, folks. 18 to 13 makes us up five. I believe that is the biggest lead of the night. As 21 drives the lane, we step back not to get a foul. Titus pulls down the rebound. Great job, Leah Titus. And running the court, Karakeen knocks it away. Great effort right there by uh, 
23, Patterson. As OBA is inbounding the ball underneath, give it right back to Conley for a three. It's her fourth of the night. There we and go. Good. Her first one of the night, but a big one, 21-13. Stretches a lead to eight. Biggest lead of the night for the Lady Trojans. And that call's gonna be on, is that on, uh, I think, Caldwell. That's gonna be on Leah, that's gonna be on Clara Caldwell, her second, team five. And that was a little bit of a soft foul. I mean, I think it was a foul, but they've been yeah. letting them play. But a foul in itself. She'll go to the line to convert the three-point play, and she does. Makes it 16, and they've got now their full court pressure. 21-16 with 50 seconds to go here before halftime. Over to Walden. Walden down low. Little jumper by Colby. Good. Makes it 23-16. Nice ball movement, nice shot by B.B. Colby. So we gotta have an answer for zero and 21 for sure. 23 hits a three. And by the book says she's a freshman. Nice job right there by the freshman. Makes it 19. Again, it's a heck of a ball game right here, folks. Nice cross-court pass. We miss. Kobe misses. The, we get the rebound. Or, I mean, uh, Leah Titus misses. Kobe gets the rebound, gets fouled going up. She'll go to the line to shoot two with 9.8 seconds to go here. And the second period, you're watching Lady Trojans basketball on obatrojans.tv. And playoff basketball. Brought to you by Jansen GMC. Thank you, Jansen GMC, for making live stream playoff basketball happen as BB hits the first and she hits the second one. Nice job, BB Colby. I know talking to coach, she's got a she's uh, leading the free team in free throw shooting percentage all year. Boy, that was way too easy as we let Zero just drive the drive the court. And that's the end of the first period, folks. First uh, half, I mean, 25-21. Your Lady Trojans are up. What a daggum ball game. You're yeah. watching Lady Trojans basketball in the district championship on obatrojans.tv with the sh sheriff, Coach Cheatham, AC, and, Ka and Kara on the cameras bringing you live playoff basketball as the cheerleaders take the court we'll recognize them savannah schultz carly fournier carissa barnium emily pendleton and mariah useda great job ladies take this opportunity to thank our business sponsors thank you business sponsors for all you do for oba athletics our title sponsors you'll see being scrolled through there in the bottom right hand corner our title sponsors thank you and if you are a bronze or gold, silver sponsor, looking at going to a title sponsor, getting your logo on the live stream, please let me know. Also, if you're interested in supporting the uh, live stream for the playoffs, because we want to live stream as long we as do. we're doing, the, we're playing, uh, we do have to pay a fee to the OSSAA for that. And... We uh, want to make that happen, and as I said, Jansen GMC and Eaton State Farm, Eaton State Farm and Jansen GMC making live stream happen for OBA Athletics all year. And then Jansen GMC picking up the district playoff support, and we appreciate that. So, your Lady Trojans up 25-21. See if I can get some stats here before we sign off. Boom, I do from the legend, Janelle Christmas. Caldwell has four. B.B. Colby has six. Conley Kayot has 
seven. Titus has five and Jenkins has one. So there is your stats for the evening. Nobody really in. We got Caldwell and Carson Jenkins with two fouls. Nobody else in foul trouble. So, heck of a first half, yes? Oh, yeah. It was a great first half. Excited for the rest of the game. Heck of a ball game. Heck of a ball game for sure. And we got the boys coming up. Yeah, I'm excited for that game as well. I'm pumped. I am ready. So, we're going to take a halftime break, but we want to thank our business sponsors. Thank you for all you do for OBA Athletics. We want to thank Jansen GMC, Jansen GMC Enid, for making district basketball live stream happen. Be sure to check us out on social media, Facebook, Oklahoma Bible Academy, all things OBA Athletics, at OBA Athletics, at Twitter and Instagram, at OBA Athletics. Give us a shout out on Instagram, text, whatever. Let us know you're listening to the live stream and appreciate it. We, I want to thank everybody that puts in the effort to make a home game happen, and with playoffs, there's even more. Just working the table tonight, Mr. Reese on the PA, Mr. Easton on the scoreboard, Miss Christmas at the book, and Evan helping with the clock also, Miss Moore and all the sophomore, uh, junior parents and students in the concession, our basketball parents that helped make hosting and made it, allowing us to help be very hospitable. Thank you for all your efforts. AC care on the camera, Wyatt the Sheriff Hope and on all things computer. Thank you guys. So we're gonna take a break. We got six minutes left to halftime. We'll be back with about a minute to 30 seconds. Your Lady Trojans up 25-21, up four for the district championship right here on the campus of Oklahoma Bible Academy on this Saturday night. It's district playoff championship night. You don't miss one bit of it. Again. Your Lady Trojans up 25-21. You're watching Lady Trojan Basketball on OBATrojans.tv. We'll be right back.
Are we on? I don't think we muted it. Everybody probably heard all the sound going around. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't turn this down either. That's all right. Here we go, folks. We're back. You're watching Lady Trojans basketball on OBA Trojans.tv and at the Scoreabout District Championship game right here to advance. Both teams will advance to regionals, but one will be in the winner's bracket, one in the loser's bracket. At this point on, through OBA, I mean, uh, OSSAA playoffs, it's a double elimination situation. Now, there's a three-point shot missed. Rebound, Titus, and we'll push it up the court. 25-21. Watching OBA Trojan Athletics. Playoff basketball, your Lady Trojans playing Cherokee as BB Kobe goes to the rack and loses can handle, loses control. OBA Athletics Playoff live stream brought to you by Jansen GMC, Jansen GMC Enid. You got Wyatt. The Sheriff Hofen on all things computer. AC and Kara on the camera. Coach Cheatham here with you, bringing you playoff basketball. Thanks for joining. One minute into this third period, and ball knocked away by Walden. Oh, then stolen back by Zero. And shot missed, rebound Walden. Throw it to, oh, throws it too far. Good look there, but just overthrew it. Oh, we've just another turnover right there. We got to just settle down a little bit is the magic word here. Keep playing great defense. Defense wins. And rebound B.B. Colby. Nice job. 6.28 here. No score from the... Halftime score, 25-21, and there's Oopa. a three. That's a big three right there. Contested three, her second one of the night, two for five for Conley Kayot. And wide open three for 21, and she air balls, but rebound, then bounces it off. Nice effort right there by number 10, 10 Heim. Naomi Heim, Helm. Nope, that's Heim. Inbound Cherokee underneath their basket, OBA. Playing good D there, knocked it away, stays with Cherokee. Zero again. Guffey takes, senior takes it to the rim right there. That's her 11th point for the night. 28-23, inside to Titus. Nice little jumper, good. Little stick back jumper, good ball movement. 30-27, Lady Trojans up seven. 5-37 to go here in the third period. As again, we got the house of rocking here at the gym on the campus of Oklahoma. That's a travel, she actually traveled. She did, missed it. Oh, nice pass. No foul call. Not sure how. Wow. Letting them play. 30-25. Lady Trojans up five. Looks like Cherokee trying to slow it up here a little bit as Lady Trojans stay in a man-to-man. -man. Again, you're watching Lady Trojans basketball district championship game. And miss, but rebound. <laughs> Lillian Walden, and she gets fouled. Sub on the court there, 21 comes out of the game. Junior. And again, Cherokee staying in her Zone. I have a 2 1 2 look. 30 25. We get it down inside the. <laughs> Titus. Titus draws the foul. They wanted a block, but oh, uh, we get the. 
hack called, so Titus will go to the line to shoot two, and that is number 20's third, and miss the first, so we are struggling on free throws tonight. I didn't study that on the, go back and look at the stats from the first half. Makes the second though, makes it 31-25, six point lead. How many did you say Zero has? Zero has 11 points right now and no fouls. So jump ball right there. Tie ball to go to OBA and just under four minutes. Just under four minutes. Good ball movement, BB Kobe. Woo, out of control. We get the ball though. Little jumper by Conley, in and out missed. Caldwell, nice rebound. Go to the rim. Good job it there. Down, puts it back up. Nice job, Clara Caldwell, senior. Makes it 33-25. Again, OBA playing their man-to-man, -man, working hard at it, fighting around the screens, not showing much switch here. Crowd's getting fired up with the great defense the Lady Trojans are playing. About a wow, great defense by the way. We're almost a minute and uh, 20 seconds into this defensive stand. Oh, baseline beat. Oh. oh. So that's going to be on Caldwell, her third. I think it was uh, one of those got the block, but got her with the body. Yeah. She'll go to the line to shoot two, misses the first. That's three on Caldwell, though. First team foul of second half, and I'd almost think Caldwell's coming out here pretty quick. Cammy Jenkins just checked in, though, for B.B. Colby. Makes the second, makes it 26 for Cherokee. 33-26. Staying in their zone. And we throw it away. Two minutes. Two minutes to go here in the third period. Got to keep playing D. Little jumper by 20 off the front rim. Falls in. I thought that was off the front rim. So did she I. got the roll right there from the angle we had. Ball falls, makes it 28. 33 28. Cherokees cut the lead to five. Little nice pass by Conley Chaot to find Clara Caldwell on the baseline for a little 12 foot jumper. That's a money shot for Clara. Makes it 35-28 as Walden goes for the steal miss and 
25 shoots a little jumper good. 35-30, five Lady Trojans up five, 45 seconds to go here in. Thirty-five seconds to end the third period here. Let's get a good shot, ladies. Cross over to Wal uh, Caldwell. Caldwell back to Kayot. Three miss, but rebound Caldwell. Back, kick it back out for some ball movement. Now Walden for three miss. Rebound Kayot. Kayot for a deep three. There we go. The third time's a charm on the threes. That's three for her tonight. Now she is now three for six. Got the 50% from the three. Missed her first three. He's made her last three. There you go. And they get a walk called on them. So point one second. You got to inbound it. That's the end of the third period. Your lady Trojans are going to be up 38-30. Up three. I mean, I'm sorry. Up eight at the end of three. You're watching Lady Trojan Basketball on obatrojans.tv and at the score lap. Brought to you by Jansen GMC. Jansen GMC Enid making playoff live stream happen. As the cheerleaders take the court, we'll recognize them. Senior Carissa Barney, Carly Fournier, Savannah Schultz, Emily Pendleton, and Mariah Yuseda. You got the sheriff on the computer, AC and Kara on the camera. Coach Cheatham right here bringing you playoff basketball as the house is full tonight. Boys will be playing Woodland in the championship game after winning last night. Yep. Uh, to beat Cherokee's boys to advance to the district championship game. So we got eight minutes, and it's a heck of a ball game, folks. Again, check us out on social media. Oklahoma Bible Academy on Facebook, OklahomaBible.com, and then at our webpage, and all things athletics on Twitter and Instagram, at OBA Athletics, at OBA Athletics on Twitter and Instagram. Check us out. So here we go, starting the fourth. Cherokee has two team fouls, the OBA's one, so both teams have a lot of fouls to give. Officials been doing a good job of keeping it pretty even, though both, both coaches have been upset at times. I thought they've done a pretty good job and give them credit where credit's due. Call and play off basketballs. There was good ball movement by Cherokee. A bucket good makes it 32, 38-32. Ah. Looks like they called that on Colby. Yeah, BB Colby gets uh, the foul. Is that going to be her second? I believe so. Or her first. That'll be her first. That's her first team second. So three team fouls for OBA. I mean, a Cherokee two for OBA. And we're at the 7:15 mark of the fourth period here. Winner, district champion. Oh, trailing and foul, Carson Jenkins. That's going to be her third. So you got this here for a second. I'm being distracted. 
as number 20 for the Cherokee Chiefs. She's going to the line to shoot two. She misses the first. And makes the second. Which in the fourth period, your Lady Trojans up five, 38-33. Over the Lady Chiefs. As Carson Jiggins goes up and misses, Titus tried to grab the ball there and fouled. That'll be her second team, fourth. Looks like we're going in a bringing the pressure of. Just chaos. Five point game with six seconds, or six seconds. Six oh, minutes. Daniel Caldwell gets under control and bucket. No, nope, miss, but rebound. Five fifty left in the ball game. As Walden drives the baseline. Makes it 40-33. Yep, gets the shot there. And she gets the steal. 40-33, stretched it to seven here at the 5.30 mark. Big moment here. Oh, they're all big at this stage. But we just get good shots. Most of them will fall. Rush that one. I'm just talking about good shots, and I think we rush that one. Yeah, 40-33, 5-10. Man, that was too easy there. Zero takes it to the rim. Back to a five-point game again. How many points, Well, You've been keeping track. She is a scoring machine for them. She has 13 for the Chiefs. So timeout on the court. We thank our business sponsors. Thank you, business sponsors, for all you do for OBA Athletics. Thank you, title sponsors, as we you see them in your bottom right-hand corner of your screen through the broadcast live stream, OBA Athletic live stream brought to you. OBA uh, uh, Athletic live stream brought to you by Jansen GMC and Eaton State Farm. Jansen GMC and Eaton State Farm all year long. Playoff basketball here tonight brought to you by Jansen GMC. 40-35, Lady Trojans up five, 455 here in the ball game. Good high school ball game going on right here, folks. Runner by Walden, miss, rebound, Titus. And don't bounce, don't dribble, just go right back up. She, uh, I thought she got fouled though. So they're going to full court pressure now. Cherokee is 40-35, down five, 4.25 to go here. Nice cut to the basket. Clara Caldwell, she misses. One to draw the foul, don't get it. Bucket. Seven forty three forty five. This BB Colby gets fouled going for the basket there. 
She'll go to the line to shoot two. That'll be their team's third. Misses the first. And gets the second, 41-37. 30, 41-37, 327 to go in this ball game. So it's anybody's game still. Got to keep playing D and shot, miss, rebound, Caldwell. Look up. Got Walden running the court and bucket good. Nice job right there, Caldwell and Walden. 43-37, back to five. Defense, one stop at a time. Three minutes, three minutes, folks. 43-37, your Lady Trojans up in the district championship game. Good defense by the Lady Trojans right here. Stay focused, don't give them anything easy. Make them be contested, ideally. OBA has 14 fouls. Cherokee three. Two minutes and 20 seconds. Again, great D by the Lady Trojans. They're not finding much. Oh, B.B. Colby gets the block. Trying to draw the foul. I think that's going to be her fourth. No, just her second. I'm sorry. Team five, though. Her, her second team five. Uh, Cherokee has three. 2.06 to go in this ballgame, folks. 2.06. Yes. Pressure defense, they throw it away. Great D. 43-37, two minutes, two minutes to go in this ball game. Lady Trojans up five. We gotta take our time. Coach is telling them to slow up. I almost make them get out of this zone. Yeah. They're gonna let us run the clock down up five. We just gotta take our time and go get a good shot. Walden takes a three, off, stays here. One thirty-seven. I'm not sure why we're so excited to shoot, but we are and miss. Cherokee with the rebound, 130, 125. Miss, but rebound Cherokee back up. Miss, rebound Cherokee. Golly, it looked like she walked. And then Titus foul. Titus foul, 110. Titus on the foul, trying to get the block. That's going to be her third team, sixth. 43-37, she'll go to the line. Cherokee will go to the line to shoot two as there's a timeout on the court. And it's going to be a 30-second timeout by Coach Roth and the Lady Trojans. Heck of a ball game right now. Heck of a ball game. Being brought to you by Jansen GMC right here on the campus of Oklahoma Bible Academy with the Sheriff. AC and care on the camera. Sheriff, all things computer. Coach Cheatham here having fun bringing you 
playoff basketball. And it is a rocking house, isn't it, Kara? All right, so. One minute and 10 seconds, folks. Lady Trojans are up five with Cherik the Lady Chiefs at the line, number 21. Schombacher Jr., number 21, shooting the free, two free throws and she makes the first. And she makes the second. So she makes it 43-39. It is a four point game. They're trapping now. Quick foul by number 10 and they have, they, I mean they're gonna pressure because they're down but also they have fouls to give. That's only four team fouls so they got two more to give before they, we get to shoot. So they ought to be all over us. Oh, Titus gets the scrum ball, kicks it back out. LBA is going to play keep away. Leah Titus turns down the four footer. Forty-three point nine seconds left of the ball game. Forty-three point nine. OBA up four. That's five team fouls now, so they got another one to give before we shoot. They ought to be all over the, all over us right here. Yeah. Get the ball into Kayot. Quick foul by Zero. It's her second or third. And team six. So now we'll go to the line to shoot. Let's see if that's their play. Titus gets hammered before she can get rid of it, trying to play keep away. 31.8 seconds on the clock. Lady Trojans up four as Leah Titus will go to the line to shoot the one and one. Big free throws right here. And she makes the first big free throw. Nice job, Leah Titus. Makes it a two possession game. Come on. Makes it five, makes it six. Yeah. Huge Leah Titus, senior. Nice job, 30 seconds. As Cherokee's pushing it up the court, they're gonna look to shoot quick. Zero will get rid of it. Just Late. play keep away, come on. There's the quick foul. By Cherokee, gonna put it on 21. That's gonna be her four, I think. Team eight will go to the line to shoot the one and one again, still. See up six. Make both, the still, still a ball game, folks, mathematically, if we miss the front end here. Yeah. They get down the court in three or four seconds, hit a three, it's still over 10 seconds and only up three, so we gotta make sure that we, uh, We sink these two free throws, it makes life a lot better. Yeah, a lot easier. Puts the stress off. So you're watching Lady Trojans basketball on obatrojans.tv and at the score lap. Brought to you by Jensen GMC. Thank you for making playoff basketball happen. Thank you business sponsors. As you see our business sponsors all over the gym. Thank you for making live, I mean, thank you for making athletics happen here at OBA. We couldn't do it without you with all your support. AC and Kara on the camera. Wyatt, the Sheriff Hofen on the computer. Thank you, Mr. Hofen, though you're not here, making sure everything will work, and I know he's checked in with me a few times. As the boys are over ready to take the court and warm up, but we're gonna have to wait for the trophy presentation, the district championship plaque presentation after this. And hopefully it's right there to our girls. We take care of business here in the last 18 seconds. Yep. Make that 17.4. So 17.4, Conley's at the line to shoot the one and one. And she misses. 
16. Got to play D. 13, 12, no foul. Air ball. Rebound, Cherokee miss, rebound. Conley, but she traveled four seconds. That's all right. There's just four seconds left. Four seconds. Mathematically, I would say, you know, we're good here. Got to just play good defense, but yep. no foul. It ought to take them, you know, catch and shoot is a minute and a half, another second in the air. So they got time to get the ball in and get a shot off, even if it's a three and they make it. We're up three with maybe a second left, maybe less than a second. Chunk the ball to the other end. Um, so time is stalling out here. Man, the, Cher the Lady Chiefs from Cherokee are fighting to the end, but ought to be our Lady Trojans here for the district championship. Wouldn't you agree? I do agree, Sheriff. We're sitting in a good position right now. Just can't foul here. What happened? Not quite sure. The timeout wasn't over. Mm. All right, here we go. Four seconds. Ball's inbound. And that's the ball game. No call right there at the end of the game. And your Lady Trojans win. And our district champion, folks, 45-39. 45-39. Your Lady Trojans win, and we will get we will get the uh, we'll get the trophy presentation right here. Get the quick district. So your lady, uh, lady Chiefs come up short 39-45, but your Lady Trojans, OBA fans, win 45-39, yes? Yep. What do you think about that? We get the, oh. Am I still on? Yep. So we get the uh, presentation here of the... Oh yeah, Lady Trojans accepting the trophy as their two seniors, Titus and Leah Titus and Clara Caldwell, yes. Let me get in front of you right there. I like that scoreboard better. So I can do some post. Sound good? Yep. So that's a heck of a ball game, folks, as your Lady Trojans win big or win a big district game. Let me say, I'm getting fired up here <laughs> as the boys are getting ready to take the court for their warm-up. So, your Lady Trojans win 45-39 and district champion and that runs their record to 20 and 20 and 2 and they will be in the winners bracket we'll, we're in the winners bracket of the regional game next week ceiling is the host with Cherokee as the sub site Thursday's games at Cherokee Friday and Saturday at ceiling 
and we'll, we will be uh, on the winner's bracket side for the regional as your Lady Trojans win and win in a hard-fought game 45-39 versus the Lady Chiefs from Cherokee and it was a heck of a ball game and the Lady Chiefs from Cherokee will advance next week to the regional they will just be on the uh, losers bracket side and uh, have one loss of their two So the boys take the court. I just got the final stats from Miss Christmas, the legend. Walden finishes with four. Caldwell finishes with eight. Colby finishes with seven. Chaos finishes with 14. Titus finishes with six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Carson Jenkins finishes with one. Spread out there, your Lady Trojans, district champions for 2023. Good stuff. Yes, Sheriff? It was. It was a great game. So, thank you, all of you watching and listening. Thank you, Chance and GMC, for sponsoring. Thank you to all of our business sponsors. Thank you to our title sponsors. Again, you're watching OBA Trojans Basketball on obatrojans.tv and at the Scortal Lab. Check us out on social media at OBA Athletics on Twitter and Instagram, Oklahoma Bible Academy on Facebook. Let us know you're watching and listening and just following things that are going along. So, district championship game for the boys up next. Girls win 45-39 for the Sheriff and Coach Cheatham. We'll be back in about 10 minutes for the boys championship game. You're watching OBA Trojans Athletics. We'll be right back. Don't forget to refresh your uh, browser there as we will be switching live streams in between. Signing off on this one. <laughs> 